Hey there, BitTubers. Welcome back to another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. I'm Average Joe, and it's Wednesday, which means it's time for another installment of Western New York Wednesday. And the beer I'll be reviewing today comes from the Thin Man Brewery out of Buffalo, New York. And this is their Trial by Wombat. That is a fantastic label. Um, I never want to be face-to-face, -face, certainly not that close with a Wombat, but it's a pretty fantastic label. Um, so yeah, this beer is a New England style IPA. And according to the head brewer at Thin Man, Rudy Watkins, it is brewed with a copious amount of the Australian Galaxy Hop, which makes sense because the Wombat is native to Australia. So in addition to Galaxy, they're also using some Simcoe and Citra hops, and they're using 30% malted oats, a ton of Pilsner hops. And in addition, he also says some other fun stuff. Not sure what that means, <laughs> but maybe lactose, maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know what other fun stuff it is, but hopefully it's tasty. Comes in at 7% alcohol by volume, could not find the IBUs, don't really care. And this was canned on, there is no canning date. Uh, actually, this beer was <clears throat> released in early March, uh, brewery only, that they did. And it was only draft, uh, crawler fills, growler fills, but no cans. And then they ended up rebrewing it because people enjoyed it so much. And they released this on National Beer Day, which was April 7th of 2018. So this can is about, what is today? The 18th? I don't know. This is like a week and a half old. It's not even two weeks old. Uh, they probably can this, eh, maybe it's around two weeks old. Regardless, two weeks old at the most, so super fresh. Let's give it a pour and see what we got going on here. Uh, yeah, that looks like a New England style IPA if I've ever saw one. So, <clears throat> let you guys look at that. <laughs> I just love that. I just love that label. That, that They used one of the best pictures that they could for this beer. Oh my God, I can smell it from here. Anyway, the look. Yeah, it's a uh, New England style IPA. It honestly has this creamy but vibrant and bright... <sighs> You know, just basically pure yellow, like a vibrant neon yellow. It kind of looks like carbonated pineapple juice, more or less. Um, actually, the look of it reminds me of one of the beers I have here on the pretentious wall of uh, cans and bottles. And that would be, let me just move out of the way, that would be Treehouse uh, Green. Uh, this kind of looks like it. it. It really looks like green, and green uses Galaxy. So it's going to be the same beer. It's going to be, I don't know. It just looks like it. I don't know if it's going to taste like it. I don't know if it's going to smell like it. And I don't really care. I just thought it looked like green. Anyway, let's get a nose on it. Yeah. All right. So just about around two weeks in the can, there is a green astringency. If, you, if any of you out there have been drinking, you know, New England style IPAs over the last couple years, a lot of people talk about hot burn. A lot of people talk about how the beer is super green. This has it. Not in spades. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's subtle, but it's there. Two weeks in the can. It just has this like green earthiness to it. Some people like a good friend of mine, a fellow beer tuber, Matt over at Massive Beer Reviews, you see it says like tomato stock, you're like pulling weeds kind of, you know, greeniness to it, or even like, you know, grass, not like the marijuana, but more like the grass outside on your, uh, you know, in your front yard. But uh, this just has like this generic greenness to it. Yeah, has almost, it almost smells like it's going to have that hot burn though, that hot burn. I don't know. Outside of that, though, there's a huge, there's a ton of pineapple and passion fruit. Yeah, pineapple juice vibes of this one. Maybe even a touch of stone fruit, like an apricot or a peach thing going on. A little bit of a melon vibe there. Um, dare I say tangelo or tangelo? Actually, if you've never had a tangelo, tangelo, however you want to say it, uh, they are fantastic. A hybrid of a grapefruit and a um, tangerine, one of the juiciest juiciest citrus fruits I've ever had. Fantastic. Why am I telling you about this in this review? I have no idea, but I just thought I'd mention it. Yeah, I mean, the head though, I didn't talk about the head at all, just basically how it looked like carbonated pineapple juice. It has a nice creaminess to it. Um, this smells like, <laughs> this is going to sound really dumb, but I say a lot of dumb things. This smells like the mouthfeel is going to be fantastic but I'm not gonna enjoy the finish because that hot burn or that green astringency is gonna be a little bit overwhelming. I hope I'm wrong because this smells like, you know, basically a fruit bowl of awesomeness in a glass and I'm gonna get into it. So cheers everyone. Let's see what it has to offer. Oh, I'm a bit surprised. 
First off, because I'm old and I forgot and I don't want to forget again, shout out to my buddy Andrew for picking this up for me. He actually picked me up a four pack at cost and you can't ask for uh, you know a better you know a better friend to do that. So thank you very much, Andrew. Truly do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, this surprised me for a sip. The mouthfeel isn't as great as I thought it would be. It's it's soft, not creamy or luscious or velvety. Just has a nice softness to it. Carbonation, you know, it's moderately carbonated, but the softness on the palate um, kind of almost null and voids that carbonation. You know it's carbonated, but it's so hidden because of the softness that it's fantastic. The mouthfeel's not fantastic. Just the way that it kind of just cancels out the carbonation, so it's not super carbonated. That's what's awesome. Medium body, 7%, I'd expect it. Flavor-wise, this is where it's really nice. It's not over, it's not punching me in the face. It's not, you know, overbearing. It's not, it's not super bold, but what's there is just beautifully uh, mixed. And I hate to use the word cohesive. I use it so much, uh, but there is a nice cohesiveness to it. It just, it blends together quite nicely. First and foremost, ton of that pineapple, ton of that passion fruit juice. Like the first sip, you'd kind of, you could mistake it for like a pineapple juice slightly. I'm not saying you're going to, but you could get tricked into it because it, it does have a huge juiciness up front. Yeah, pineapple, passion fruit, a bit of that peach apricot thing going on. There's this melon rindiness, slight bitterness in there. Uh, that tang tangelo, a little bit of that, maybe even just a more of a sweeter orange, uh, like a navel orange or something as well. There's a bit of dankness, not overly so, um, but it's enough there to kind of, it, it's omnipresent, it's everywhere, uh, but it's not the predominant character at any point in the drink. As you can see, I'm just hammering this out. This is just really tasty. Uh, for 7%, it drinks like it's about 5 and I'm just really happy about that uh, that hot burn, that green string. See, I thought it would be there ever so slightly, but... This is already drinking phenomenal. Um, in a couple weeks, this is probably going to be magical. Uh, I'm glad I got uh, another a couple cans of this left. Um, I haven't. This is the first time I, you know, full disclosure. It's the first can I had, and I have three left. I'm actually going to save a couple for a buddy, um, and I'm going to drink the other one at some point. Probably wait a couple weeks, but this is going down way easier than I expected. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, this is a very tasty beer. This might be. One of the best uh, New England style IPAs I've had from Thin Man and maybe in the area in a while. So rating wise for the trial by Wombat from Thin Man, I'm going to give it a 4.25 out of 5. I think it uh, definitely deserves it. Um, to get a better rating for me, which doesn't matter because who cares about ratings. But for me, I would like to see a little bit more. I'd see a little bit better of a mouthfeel. Like I said, I was so excited about the mouthfeel, but not right now. A little bit more of a mouthfeel and I don't know. Um, maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe more of a vibrant fruit character in, in the taste. Like I said, you get pineapple and passion fruit, but that initial hit, it kind of right after that kind of just trickles down and like I say, you get a little melon rind and orange and dankness and finishes semi dry. I would like that fruitiness to carry through, uh, the palate the entire way. Uh, it doesn't, not a huge deal. So 4.25 out of 5 for Trial by Wombat from Thin Man. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Until next time, if you want to like, you want to comment, you want to sub, I'm all on board for all that stuff. If you do one thing, leave a comment. Have you had anything from Thin Man? Have you had this beer? If not, what's your favorite New England style IP? What do you do? You like the Galaxy Hops? Do you like the Australian Galaxy Hops? Do you like Treehouse Green? I don't know. Just anything. Let's chat. Um, but anyway... It's running long because that's what I have a tendency to do. Till next time. Cheers.